Great news for you Elac fans. Today Elac releases a new unified tower speaker consisting of a 1 inch soft dome tweeter sat in a concentric configuration in a 4 inch aluminum mid range driver and not one, not two, but three 5 and a quarter inch aluminum base drivers. And we're going to check it out right after the jump. And I'm back. What is up, Techno Fam? Hope you're having a great day. And uh, before we begin, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. You guys rock. And if you are a patron and missed my post from last week, I uploaded the DTS X 2018 demo files. So make sure you go on there and grab those to demo your home theater system. Now, if you want access to those files and have the best demo material for your home theater, make sure you click on the Patreon link down in the description and become a patron at the $5 level today. Okay, so big news for Elac fans today. And if you're planning your next home theater or two channel upgrade, make sure to contact Dream Media Home Theater, who is now an authorized Elac dealer. Okay, so let's check out these speakers. Unboxing the speakers is easy if you keep the box upright and then just slide the speaker out of the box. The feet were pretty straightforward and easy to install. Elac went ahead and sent both finishes. So I've got one of each. One is white with oak sides and the other black with walnut sides. Personally, I am really down with the white speaker. I think I think I might want to get some white speakers. I don't know. I don't know. The Elac URF52 is a three-way speaker design with a frequency response of 40 hertz to 35,000 hertz. Nominal impedance is 6 ohm. They have a power handling of 140 watts and speaker sensitivity is 86 dB. As stated before, there is a 1 inch soft dome tweeter seated into a 4 inch aluminum mid range driver in a concentric design, followed by three 5 and a quarter inch base drivers. At the very bottom, we have a front slotted port, and on the back, we have two additional ports as well as five way binding posts. Now, I know what you guys are going to say TechnoDab, what do they sound like? And I got to let you guys know, I've literally only had the speakers in for one week, so please keep that in mind. Uh, what I'm about to say. Okay, so the first thing I noticed, the very, very first thing, these suckers need juice. Okay, so I had to juice up that volume, but it's okay. I have plenty of high power amplifiers like the Michi X3 integrated and the Parasound A51. So these guys were getting plenty of juice. And yes, you do have to turn it up due to the 86 dB sensitivity. Now I'm coming off of a pair of Focal Aria 926s, which have a sensitivity of 91 or 92 dB. So, you know, that's a pretty drastic jump. So if you're planning on getting these and you want to crank them, I would suggest an external power amp. So my wife found a new TV show on Hulu and we've been watching that. And I got to say, the mids and highs are crystal clear on these towers. Focal clarity was great. I did end up actually bumping up the treble two notches and putting the bass down one notch when we're watching movies or TV shows. However, for like music, I would keep the treble at zero and bump up the bass like plus three. In fact, I think that's the biggest gripe I have with these speakers is that mm, when I left the tone controls at zero, I felt the bass was a little bit lacking for the music I'm used to listening to. Now, when I switch things over to like some soft jazz, or like some, you know, rock, not metal, but like some rock, you know, um, I think it they do well. I think in bass heavy genres, uh, hip hop, trap, um, EDM or house music or whatever you like to call it. Um, I think a lot of that, I think it's lacking a little bit. I did bump up the bass, you know, to plus three in the options menu of the Marantz SR7015. And after that, I had the bass to my liking. Uh, but I think moreover, like the speaker is very well balanced when it comes to mids, highs, and that mid bass. It's just the lower end bass, those really, really low notes. Like I'm talking like that one note in Solar Sailor. I'm talking like Get Up 10 on Cardi B's album. You know, those things that have just that low, low, low notes, like these just aren't um, going to hit it. That being said, if you were to pair this up with a 10 inch subwoofer, like I have a couple of REL 10 inch subwoofers hanging out here. Um, after I connected those up, I think this is a fantastic system. And anything you throw at it, it's going to handle very, very, very well. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to run a phantom center, uh, but that's what I was doing with these two speakers. I was just running them in stereo. And once you have your center image, you know, lined up with your seating position, 
it's pretty on point. I tested out a lot of vocal heavy movies like Sin City. As you guys know, there's tons of monologues, dialogues that, you know, on these speakers come in through crystal clear, whether it was Josh Hartnett, Bruce Willis, or Mickey Rourke, all the vocals and dialogue and monologues sounded fantastic on these speakers. The whole intro for 300 was fantastic and you have the monologue talking about Leonidas and like what Spartans go through and all that kind of stuff. So the vocal clarity and presence was there. Great job, Andrew. That was my biggest gripe with the other Elax I had in last time. I couldn't really hear uh, what people were saying. It was kind of tough watching TV and movies, but not this case with these URF 52s. So who are these for? I mean, I would say if you are one of those people that are about to buy a 77 inch or 83 inch TV and you don't really have room for a center channel, want to get some towers, you know, you're moving away from a sound bar, or if you have Elax previously and you wanted to move to some towers, definitely check out the UFR 52. Pair these towers with a 10 inch subwoofer and I think you're pretty much good to go. You can go integrated amplifier, you can go AV receiver, um, there's a lot of different applications where a, like a 2.1 with these Elax would be pretty much still the show. Retailing for $2,000 a pair, these aren't the cheapest speakers, but at the same time, they're also not the most expensive speakers. Now in the $2,000 price range, there are a lot of different speakers out there, but I think Elac has done a great job at cementing a foothold in that price range with the UFR52s. Now I personally like the white ones, so uh, definitely uh, get out there, check them out, um, give Dream Media Home Theater a call, see what you can do about getting yourself some in your room so you can hear them, because I'm pretty sure you're going to be impressed. So big shout out and thank you to Elac for sending these over for me to review, uh, very quickly might I add. And of course, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. My name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dad. I'll see you next time.